my mom left me for drugs when I was about four years old, and I haven't seen her since. My dad left when I was seven. We only had our grandma and our grandpa. And I had to see him die. That like killed me. He's like my dad. I live with my grandma, my cousin, and my two sisters. I love it here. I like being like just out in the middle of nowhere. I have two channels on my TV. I don't have a cell phone. I don't get money. I'm just happy with what I have. I really hope to go to the Art Institute for Graphic and Design for Art. Like have the problems that you had or the situation, you wouldn't be the person that you are. It's not, it's, it helps you get through those struggles. Yeah. Honestly, I'm happy for what I've been through because mm -hmm. it's made me a stronger and better person. Mm -hmm. Like, even though it's like really, really, really bad stuff that I went through and everything, it's just I'm a better person now and I'm stronger yeah. because of it. All right, so let, let's talk about a couple things. What are you going to do in the future? Well, when I'm graduating and stuff. Mm -hmm. My grandma told me that Ross is hiring right now. Okay, what happened to the Art Institute? Well, I'm going to do that, like, a little bit later on, because I'm just going to try to help out my grandma right now. Okay, and, and I appreciate that, and I know that your grandma needs, you know, all the help she can get. Mm -hmm. It concerns me a little bit, though, because, Summer, you are a very talented artist. I mean, you are talented beyond Black Rock. Mm -hmm. You're talented beyond this community, it's important for you to go out and be challenged and taught by a real artist. Yeah, that's what my grandma keeps saying. Right. She wants the best for me, but like, I just feel so guilty and everything. When my papa died, he wanted my grandma to like, keep us in school. That's what he wanted us to do. And keep us in school, get our education, and graduate. That's why we are staying in school. We're choosing to go when we could be at home helping our grandma or something. I just put people in front of me, and that's the kind of person I am. Not many people actually help people. I just can't live like that. So many of our students have to play significant caregiver roles in their families. Summer is juggling her schoolwork and trying to take care of her grandma and I worry that she's not going to graduate this year. If you had a choice between going to the Art Institute or looking after the grandma who rescued you, what would you choose? So, if we're gonna get you graduated, you have to have time for homework, okay? So, I will bribe you. What's a good incentive for you? I don't know. You could call my grandma and tell her how good I did. I'll call your grandma regardless. That's it. I don't really need anything. You don't need anything. Mm -mm. 
Our kids do not see that there is a possibility outside. Their family's been on assistance or maybe not even making it, and they don't see that people are successful that they know. We have to get them to rise above that, that there is more than just making it, than just surviving. We take the kids where they're at when they come in. Whatever it is, we take them at that place and little by little, step by step, try to move them to a better place. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mrs. Jordan. This is Jeannie Hill. We've talked a couple of times before about summer. Right. Uh -huh. She needs a lot of credits if she's going to graduate. And so yeah, she and I, I know. I saw that on her papers. Would it be possible to segregate her for the next couple of weeks yeah, to make sure yeah. she gets homework done every night? That's what I told her. If you want to graduate on time, you cram all night long. If you have to for two weeks, you can get it done. I appreciate your support, and I love that you're taking care of all those kids. My grandma's been going through a lot of issues, and it's just been, like, tearing me apart. She has, like, people calling the house, like, bank people and the scare with breast cancer and just everything. If anything happens to my grandma, I'm worried about what's going to happen to our family because I have no place to go. Nobody does. And I did this one for my grandma. And this one I'm working on for Anthony, but this one I made for Mr. Beck. It's a key holder. With the 7.7 .7 in algebra, I don't think we're going to make it for the ceremony. And it's okay. I, I don't like that society says to you guys, you got to do it by this date. It doesn't matter to us if you make it by this date or this date or this date as long as you make it. Mm -hmm. Okay? I and mean, just think about how far you've come. Yes, yeah, a lot. Of credit. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah. You should be proud of yourself. Yep. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Miss Helen. You're welcome. Give me a hug. I love you. Black Hawk High School, if you would please join me in congratulating graduate number 29, Michael Perez. I tried making it this year, but it was pretty tough. I don't hope for something. I just try to make it happen as best as I possibly can. I'm just ready. I'm ready for anything. It's going to be hard, but I can pretty much handle anything. I've been through a lot already. Whenever I draw something, I usually draw in pens because I don't like drawing in pencil. It just teaches me life lessons. Like, if you can't erase something, just make it better, you know?